Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a new Cisco router. So let's say you are working as a network engineer at an organization and you receive a ticket from a local IT at a one of the remote sites and they're requesting you to configure a new Cisco router that they just connect to the network. So basically the goal is to load the basic configuration into that router so that you can, you know, configure it completely from your laptop remotely. This is the topology that we are going to use in this video. So the new router here is R2 and in real world, you don't connect. I mean, if you have a new router, you don't usually connect it to another router. Usually you have a switch in between, but for simplicity, and this is just, you know, uh, I mean, this is just packet tracer. I just connected the R2 to R1 directly. So usually the person on site or local IT on site, they, you know, share your, they share their screen with you and you are not working. I mean, you are usually working remotely or you are working a, at a, you know, at the headquarter office, you know, you are a network engineer, you know, you don't usually go, you know, to side to the site and configure the router there locally. So let's say you now have access to the laptop of the local IT on site. So let's say this is the laptop and you click terminal. So let's say this is the party application. So this is uh, almost similar to, you know, the default terminal configuration in Patty as well. So click OK. And then here, this is the router. This is the new router. And I have prepared the configuration, basically. And the first step is, of course, like I mentioned, you have a console connection to the router. And that's the... That's what I have here. The, this laptop is uh, connected to the router via console connection. So the first thing that you need to configure is, of course, the host name. Usually when you, the router boots up and it's a new router or device, um, it's asking you to you know, enter the dialog box. I'm not doing that in this video. Uh, I already skipped that part. So, but you know, if you, you know, see that prompt, just say no, and you will get to this prompt here. So basically config FT meaning config terminal. And I'm going to configure the host name. So in this case, R2, and you see that it's replicated right away. See here, and then I'm going to just copy and paste these commands to make it quicker. And if I do a show IP interface brief, so gigabit ethernet zero slash zero slash zero, this is the one that is connected to R2 here, I mean R1. Let me go back. So I'm basically configuring it with an IP address and unshut the port. And this here is to basically configure SSH. So you can, as a network engineer, you can, you know, SSH to this router remotely, like I was saying earlier. So let me configure the key. So to do that, I'm going to just copy and paste this command. Oh, yeah, so we need to uh, configure the IP domain first. So as you can see that there is prerequisites, right? Host name and configure the IP domain. So in this case, I'm using cisco.com as the domain name. And then configure this. So yes, yeah, so I already configured RSA keys earlier. And I selected, <clears throat> I, believe it, I believe it was 2048. So 
So I'm going to configure 2048 again. Okay, and this is how you configure the version. Yeah, and the second step that you need to do, or the next step, is configure um, the BTY line. So in this case, this router has only four or five BTY lines. And login local meaning it's going to look for the local account. And transport input SSH meaning it will only accept connection or input connection from SSH. It will not accept Telnet. Can console zero. So this command here is basically uh, it's going to make the output more readable. That's it. And login local, meaning it's going to use the uh, local account. And that's it. Now you can SSH into this router and you know load the other configurations that you need from a remote site. So let me go back. Let me go back to the topology. So let's say this is this is another site. Yeah, this is another site, and let's say this is your laptop. Your laptop is connected to the network usually. So now you can, you know, open Putty application as well. So let's say this is the Putty application terminal, and just select default or the default configuration. And hold on. No, that's not what I wanted to to select. I'm going to I'm going to select this Telnet client or SSH client. And then here you can type in the IP address. So in this case, this and host name, I mean username. So before I actually log in, I mean SSH onto the onto R2, I'm going to first let me do it again. I'm going to first see if I can ping the IP address from this laptop. IP address is this. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was it was not working. So now I can ping it and I can go back here and type in the IP address again. And username is Cisco and connect password is cisco yeah now you can see that i'm now able to connect to r2 from this laptop here remotely so i now have inbound connection that's how you can configure a new cisco router in packet tracer in this case but the scenario is really real world scenario where you have someone on site usually like i said usually you know local it and they connect the router to the network and you are working at another remote site and you're able to access their switch, I mean, their their computer because they're sharing their screen with you with, you know, an app sharing application. So you're able to do it from a remote site. So you don't have to go, you know, to the site yourself. So, yeah, so that's really, the advantage, I guess, one of the perks of being a network engineer, because um, you can configure these routers uh, remotely from your laptop. So hopefully this video is, I mean, you found this video useful. If you have, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.